away from Glasgow, Frankie Boyle. Hello? Hey, is this your woman, pal? Yeah. She looks like she could rip you apart like a fucking chicken wing. Does he touch the sides? He sure does. When he does, do you vibrate and your nose lights up? Oh, my God. I read a great thing recently. It said that scientists are going to start treating alcoholism with LSD. That's going to make tramps very different people. <laughs> Any spare change, pal? I've got a unicorn to feed. Apparently, scientists have come up with a condom for premature ejaculation. And basically, it's got an anaesthetic in the lining, and it makes you numb. You can last for longer. Or you can wear it inside out, and you don't have to wake anybody up. <laughs> Mollus is overrated, isn't it? Mollus actually takes half an hour to have any effect. I often find that in that time, the woman has managed to wriggle free. <laughs> you ever heard that science thing that the human female has exactly the same pheromone scent as an orangutan female? It's news to me. I'll never wear a blindfold again. They told me she was European. <laughs> you ever heard that science thing? If you put a frog into boiling water, it'll jump out. But if you put it into cold water, you heat the water up, the frog won't realise, and it'll die. Or to put it another way, scientists have got a lot of fucking time in their hands. <laughs> Shall we have a go at curing cancer? No. I'm going to see how many fruit pastels it takes to choke a kestrel. <laughs> Tell you what I hate, charity. Charity doesn't work, right? Because we want it to work, we won't make it fucking work. You might want to send money to people in Africa. That money takes no account of cultural difference, takes no account of the reality of those people's lives. If you give a man a fish, he'll eat for a day. If you give him a fishing rod, he'll break it up for firewood. <laughs> or maybe swap it for a fish. I hate that fat fuck, John Hunter. You're talking about a guy who's so fat, he can't wear a belt and a tie on the same day, or he'll turn into sausages. <laughs> I hate property programs. I saw one the other day, right? It said, if someone's coming around to view the house, remember to open your curtains and tidy up. Oh, thanks for that. I'd been planning on redecorating using diarrhea pills and stencils, then shaving the word welcome into my fucking dog's back. That's a joke. I don't have a dog, obviously. Having pets is fucking tragic. Having a pet is basically saying, I have tried to find love among my own species, and I have failed. I've had to fall back on the less judgmental animal kingdom. Is there anything sadder than seeing someone with a dog picking up dog shit? I suppose maybe someone without a dog. <laughs> vet, that's a job I'd like to have. I don't know how long I could be a vet, before I got bored and started fucking stuff. <laughs> I'd fuck an owl. Because it could give you eye contact, whatever position you took it in. <laughs> or fuck a kitten. Imagine having sex with something you actually wanted to cuddle afterwards. <laughs> hey, have a great weekend. <laughs>